6.1 Multivariable Linear Systems and Row Operations Operations that produce equivalent systems Each of the following operations produces an equivalent system of linear equations. Interchange any two equations. Multiply one of the equations by a non-zero real number and add a multiple of one equation to another equation. Write the system of equations in triangular form using Gaussian elimination, then solve the system. Well, we can write, let, let's label this equation A, equation B, and equation C. We can eliminate X by taking 3 times A and then minusing equation B. We have 3X plus 9Y plus 6Z is equal to 15, and then we can minus 3X plus Y minus 2Z equals 7, and we're going to subtract these. We get 9 minus 1 is 8, then 6 minus negative 2 is 8z, and then 15 minus 7 is 8. And the one thing I can notice right away is that I can divide everybody by 8. This will probably be a little easier to use if we uh, have smaller values. Let's call this equation D. Let's get another one. Let's eliminate x by using two different equations. How about using a and c this time? I can take uh, 2 times a and minus c. Well, 2 times a is 2x plus 6y plus 4z is equal to 10. And then we're going to minus 2x plus 2y plus 3z is equal to 3. And we're going to subtract. 6 minus 2 is 4. 4 minus 3 is going to be 1, and then 10 minus 3 is 7. Well now in equation D and E, we can eliminate Y. We can take uh, E minus 4D. We have E is 4Y plus Z equals 7, and then D is, or uh, that's, uh, what was that? That's E, and then 4 times D is 4Y plus 4Z is equal to 4. We're going to subtract these two. We have 1 minus 4, that's negative. 3z is equal to 7 minus 4 is 3. z is equal to negative 1. Now let's plug negative 1 back in somewhere. How about right here? We have y plus negative 1 is equal to 1. So the y is equal to 2. And then we got to go back to an original, plug negative 1 in for z and 2 in for y. Let's go to the top one. We have x plus, I'm using equation a now, x plus 3 times 2, and then plus 2 times negative 1 is equal to 5. So x plus 6 minus 2 is equal to 5. We have x plus 4 is equal to 5, so x is equal to 1. The solution is 1 comma, the y is 2, and the z is negative 1. Row echelon form. A matrix is in row echelon form if the following conditions are met. Rows consisting entirely of zeros, if any, appear in the bottom of the matrix. So we have zeros in the bottom. The first non-zero entry is in, in a row is one called a leading one. So here we have a leading one. For two successive rows with non-zero entries, the leading one in the higher row is farther to the right than the leading one in the lower row. Uh, in other words, we just want to get this diagonal to all be ones. Solve the system of equations. Let's start with the first one. Let's write this in a matrix. We have 1, negative 1, 1, 3. We have negative 1, 2, negative 1, 2. And we have 2, negative 3, 3, 8. Now I want to get, this one's already 1. I want to get the next thing I want is 0 right here. Now if we take row 1 plus row 2 and replace row 2, we get a 0 in this spot right here. So let's add the two rows together. And we're replacing row two. So everybody else stays exactly the same. Two, negative three, three, and eight. 
trying to get a zero right here. Now one plus negative one, that's zero. Negative one plus two is one. One plus negative one is zero. And three plus two is five. The next thing we want to get is we want to get a zero right here. We want to get zeros in the corners. That's what we're looking for, zero in the corners. The next zero we want is right here. And we can do that by taking row one times two and then minus row three and replace row three. Row one and two, they're gonna remain exactly the same. We have one, negative one, one, three, zero, one, zero, five. And now is where, that's, this is when we're gonna replace row three. We have two, negative two, two, and six when we multiply row one times two. Two minus two is zero. Negative two minus negative three, that's one. Two minus three is negative one. And then six minus eight is negative two. Now we want to get this one right here. We want to get this one to be a zero and we got it. But we don't want to use row one because then we would change this zero right here. Let's take uh, row two minus row three and now we can replace row three. One and two are going to remain the same. Negative one, one and three, zero, one, zero, five. And now zero minus zero is zero. See that zero we just worked for, it stayed zero. One minus one is zero. Zero minus negative one is one. And then five minus negative two, that's going to be seven. So what we just found out is z is equal to seven. So z is equal to seven. Now if we look at the second row, we have a bonus here because this is a zero. Y is equal to five. And in the first row, we have x minus y plus z is equal to three because we have one, negative one, and one. This is the x, this is the y, this is the z column. Now we can plug five in for y and seven in for z and we can find out what x is. So x plus two is equal to three, x equals one. The solution now is one, five, seven. Solve the system of equations. Let's put this in a matrix. We have one, two, one, and eight, two, three, negative one, and 13, and one, one, negative two, and five. Let's get our first zero to be right here. So we have two times row one, then minus row two, and we're going to replace row two. We have two, four, two, and 16. Uh, two minus two is zero, so our first one is zero. Four minus three is one, two minus negative one is three, and 16 minus 13 is three. Now all the other rows stay the same. One, one, negative two, and five. Our next zero can be down, has to be down in the corner here. We have row one minus row three, replace row three. One, two, one, eight, zero, one, three, three. And one minus one is zero, two minus one is one. 1 minus negative 2 is 3, and 8 minus 5 is 3. Now to get the 0 right here, we can subtract. We can take row 2 minus row 3 and replace row 3. We have 1, 2, 1, 8, 0, 1, 3, 3. And then when we get uh, row 3, we get all zeros. 0, 0, 0, 0. Well, now our statement says zero equals zero. That's true. Now, the solution is not all reals. There's infinitely many solutions, but you can't just have any solution you want. Well, let's start with the fact that you can pick any z you want. Let's say you could have any z. Well, now y plus 3z is equal to 3. y now has to equal 3 minus 3z. So the y is now three minus three z. So once you pick a z, all the other coordinates are dependent upon what you picked for z. Well then now at the top we have, um, we have x 
plus 2y plus z is equal to 8. We have x plus 2 times 3 minus 3z, which is the y. We said y must be 3 minus 3z, and then plus z equals 8. So now x plus, we have x plus 6 minus 6z plus z equals 8. And we have, let's see, x plus 6 minus 5z equals 8. Uh, x now is equal to, we have 5z, and then we minus 6 over, uh, plus 2. So now the x is 5z plus 2. So we can't pick any three numbers we want just because there's infinitely many solutions. Yeah, there's infinitely many solutions, but the solutions have to be specific. Once you pick a z, then you can find the y, and then you can find the x. The solution we're looking for is right here. Solving the system of equations. Let's uh, put this into a matrix. 2, 3, negative 1, 1. 1, 1, negative 2, and 5. 1, 2, 1, 8. Let's get this 1 to be a 0 right here. We can take row 2 minus row 3, and we can replace row 2. We have 2, 3, negative 1, 1. We have 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. 1 minus negative 2 is negative 1. Negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. And 5 minus 8 is negative 3. We have 1, 2, 1, and 8. Now we want to get this one to be a 0. We can take row 1 minus 2 times row 3 and replace row 3. When we multiply row 3, we'll get 2, 4, 2, and 16. We have 2, 3, negative 1, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 3, negative 3, and then 2 minus 2 is 0, 3 minus 4 is negative 1, let's write negative 1, 3 minus 4 is negative 1, negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3, and 1 minus 16 is negative 15. Now we can take row 2 minus row 3 and replace row 3 to get this to be a 0 right here. We have 2, 3, negative 1, 1. We have 0, negative 1, negative 3, negative 3. We have 0, 0, 0. Negative 3 minus negative 15 is 12. And once again, we have no solution. Solve the system of equations. Well, let's get the same diagonal of ones, and then we'll look at uh, what we need to do for this one when we have a three by one, two, three, four, five uh, to work with. We have four, one, two, negative three, and 10. Three, four, two, eight, and three. And then one, three, four, 11, and 11. Let's get this uh, first one right here. Let's get this zero right here. And we can do that by taking row 2 minus 3 times row 3. And we will replace row 2. 4, 1, 2, negative 3, 10. And then we have 0. But uh, we're going to have 3, 9, 12, 33, and 33. So row 2 minus row uh, 3 is 0. 4 minus 9, that's negative 5. 2 minus 12 is negative 10. 8 minus 33 is negative 25. And 3 minus 33 is negative 30. We have 1, 3, 4, 11, and 11. We need a 0 here. We can take row 1 minus 4 times row 3 and replace row 3. We need 4 times row 3. 4, 12, 16, 44, and 44. The first two rows will stay the same. 4, 1, 2, negative 3, and 10. We have 0, negative 5, negative 10, negative 25, and negative 30. 
4 minus 4 is 0. 1 minus 12 is negative 11. 2 minus 16 is negative 14. Negative 3 minus 44 is negative 47. And 10 minus 44 is negative 34. Our next zero is right here in the corner. Uh, we can use, we got to use 5, so we take uh, 11 times row 2, and we will minus um, row 3. 5 times row 3. Uh, we have 0, we have negative 55. Let's write it down here. 0, negative 55, negative 110. We have negative 275, and then we have negative um, 330. Then we have 0, negative 55, negative 70. We have negative, um, let's see, 5, we got two, 235, and then with 5 times 4, that's 20, carry the 2, looks like negative 170, and we're subtracting. All right, let's see what we get. We get 4, 1, 2, negative 3, 10. We have 0, negative 5, uh, negative 10, negative 25, and negative 30. I could have divided all those by 5, actually. And then we have 0, 0, negative 110 minus negative 70 is 40. Uh, negative 275, that's actually going to be, yeah, that's negative. Negative 225 minus negative 235 is also negative 40. And then negative 330 minus uh, negative 170 is negative 160. Well, we certainly can reduce these rows, so let's do that. Let's take the time to do that. Let's take uh, 1 fifth, actually negative 1 fifth of row 2, replace row 2, and let's take uh, negative 1 40th of row 3 and replace row 3. We get 4, 1, 2, negative 3, 10. We get 0, 1, 2, 5, and 6. Then 0, 0, 1, 1, and 4. Well, now we find out that we have w, x, y, z. So y plus z equals 4. Y is equal to 4 minus Z. Then we have, in the second row, we have X plus 2Y plus 5Z equals 6. We have X plus 2 times. Let's replace Y with 4 minus Z plus 5Z equals 6. So X plus 8 minus 2Z plus 5Z equals 6. X is equal to, let's see, we have 3z, so we have uh, negative 2 minus 3z, because we'd have plus 3 minus 8 is negative 2. Well, in the top row, we have 4w plus x, which is negative 2 minus 3z, we have 4x, uh, we have the y, actually this is w, x, the y, and the z. So we have plus 2 times y, which is 4 minus z, and then minus 3z is equal to 10. 4w minus 2 uh, minus 3z plus 8 minus 2z minus 3z is equal to 10. We have 4y, let's see, we have negative 3, negative 5, negative 8, minus 8z. Negative 2 plus 8 is plus 6 is equal to 10. 4y is equal to 8z plus 4, so y is equal to 2z plus 1. Now we have an infinitely infinite amount of solutions, but not just any numbers that we want. Uh, we would have to pick a z, then the y would be 4 minus z, the x would be negative 2 minus 3z, and finally uh, this would be, oh, how would that change to, this should be w's, not y's, w, 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 and so w is equal to 2z plus 1.